Okay guys, here a quick introduction of how to use the new GCP um, SQL Big, or BigQuery SQL workspace capabilities uh, going from uh, the classical SQL workspace to a more IDE approach and notebook approach. So for that, we imported here uh, the test data and um, this is just weather data. And then we go to Python notebook, query in Python notebook, and this will automatically pull up and pre-populate um, your wished uh, table. And uh, because this is quite a big table, uh, that's 16.1 GB, and I'm here on my personal project, so paying out of my own pocket, um, we will need to change that query. So, but let's go through it one by one. So we are told here that uh, this will download from uh, BigQuery the data set, so we can assume that it has the same approach like if you're using Spark, it's loading the data set into your run. And uh, that's another reason uh, so that we need to make this smaller. And then uh, we see here, which is interesting, that they use the Pondus library. And furthermore, we get to know that the awesome thing is that you can use Pondus or the big brother of Pondus called Big frames pandas. So you have uh, pandas capabilities, but um, the execution is on BigQuery and not in runtime. So that will save you CPU power. Uh, and run my guess also. Okay, so let's go through it. Uh, we have here select all from enter universes, weather, data, samples, GSOD where and uh, okay that's pretty sweet it has auto suggestion where year equals 2000 let's just try that I, I didn't check it failed on runtime okay why did you fail on runtime sir may I ask that okay it's it's uh, it has to connect okay in order to check when it's ready to connect, we do a very complicated mathematical calculation. <laughs> and we wait till the kernel has connected. The kernel of the notebook has connected to runtime. Okay, as long as we wait here, I just press pause. Okay, well, let's continue. So, um, like you see, I pulled up another, okay, that's interesting. Let's move that upwards. Uh, another runtime, because the other one wouldn't start. And what is interesting, if I execute the second cell, the first cell gets automatically executed as well. So I think that's a bug, Google. Maybe you will want to connect, correct it. Okay, so we see that this um, immensely hard calculation goes through, and uh, here we have the RAM, and all right, so we can get started. So like I already said, the weather data is too big that way, so we will need to fix the query, and we had uh, auto, yeah, perfect. Autofill and we say uh, year 2000. Alright, you might let's try. I didn't even check if uh, yeah, yeah, integer. Okay, it looks good. Executing query. Alright, uh, year was not found in US location. Okay, that is interesting. Then we need to first check um, first check if uh, we can query at all. 
uh, the weather data which sends a question or did I confuse that I have to use double I get sometimes confused with R, Python and everything in my head okay so that seems to work then why if I may ask oh I think I we should no okay let's just replace that let's try again Okay, that seems to work. Okay, that's pretty fast. What is our RAM doing? Okay, we are under one, under one third. That looks good. Let's check the results. And here's the first thing I would like to point out. So we see here on the table, and if I remember correctly, this table has some capabilities. So, okay. We have to scroll all the way to the right and then we see those two symbols right so we can convert it in an interactive table so this is like Zeppelin notebook style enhanced and Zeppelin you have also this uh, magic commands where you can quickly convert a big ass table into an uh, interactive table and filter it but here it's even smoother and this is pretty awesome it has basically all the columns pulled up for you in a UI where you can <laughs> Jesus Christ where you can just that takes so much away that is look, look at it how fast it is I say 5 to 20 look how it changes 5 to 7 Jesus that's light speed God speed uh, amazing Okay, uh, <laughs> let's let's check with month. We want January and February. Yeah, works. Oh man, that's pretty smooth. Okay, data scientist Analyst, here's the biggest gift Google made to you. And dear engineers, we are not needed anymore so much. But this is that's just fine for me. Too much to you in the last couple of days. So um. Let's check the craft capabilities. Needs a bit of loading. What is our RAM doing? ROM is fine. Okay, we have here already a full analysis. Seemingly. Let's check the quality. We have index. Okay, that does make a lot of sense uh, to look at the distribution of the index. Uh, so from that we can tell that it doesn't have AI agents adapted to it, at least for now. Good to know. We have the frequency and we have the station number. Uh, that doesn't make sense also. Uh, we, we don't need that. VBAN, uh, I'm not a biologist or meteorologist, so I can't tell you what that is. Month, <laughs> we have the frequency of the month. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, for our first quick view, or for somebody who doesn't know how to uh, do plotting, I mean, that's a start. But uh, yeah, time series. Oh, it even has different categories. It has distributions, 2D distributions, time series, and now maybe if. Okay, no. It doesn't, it doesn't understand that none of needs to be on the x axis, I guess. Unfortunately, oh here it has it, uh, values, month, x's, oh uh, yeah, okay, no, that's, um, I mean it's smooth, how quick it goes, uh, but I think, yeah, uh, that's not what we need. Okay, let's just go through the example, and then let's start, start uh, uh, plotting ourselves afterwards, if I, if I still have it in me. So here we have uh, this one, uh, choose to query. Oh dear. Uh, okay, now we have the whole, I guess. Do we have the whole? 
uh, what I mean is uh, here it, it looks for me as if it has uh, chosen the whole um, table what I wanted to avoid because of the limited ROM we have and the tab table has 16 GB 16.1 GB ROM I mean the samples GESOD and we have only 15.6 so, uh, but apparently that's not the case, or it has some kind of nice raw management, but whatever. So let's just check it. Uh, let's go for info. Okay. Uh, Panda data frame info, share use case. Okay, that's interesting. I'm so sorry, I thought BigQuery data frames has the same functionalities as Pandas, but apparently it doesn't. So, but let me just make sure for that. Okay, no, certainly not. Okay. Uh, does it have those capabilities? Okay, it has some of them. So now I'm loading basically all of them into cache. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I don't know, to be honest. I, I have never worked before with the big frames punters. I worked with Spark, yeah, uh, HighSpark, and I worked with normal punters, and a bit of with uh, Polish, and a bit with Beam. But, uh, yeah, not with uh, big frames, so maybe you should consult another YouTube guy for that. Um, but what we can do at least, I guess, we can choose the DF and we can go for a month, as we've seen before. And what else should we go for? Um, mean, mean temperature. Yeah. Let's go for those two. Okay, let's continue. So what I just did was uh, I was trying to read up on uh, BigQuery. Oh yeah, BigQuery, sorry. I mean big frame spawners. But then I just played around a bit more and re realized you just can't get the code here. <laughs> okay, that is also pretty crazy. And we can just add the cell and change it to our convenience. I'm doing it here. But the thing is, I just like normally you would go for a plot figure and like pre select your columns yeah, with Matplotlib. Uh, Matplotlib, sorry. <laughs> but uh, I, I do really know this style here. Uh, even if it seems to be NumPy, somehow, okay, whatever. So, uh, let me get back to you. Okay, let's continue our wild journey in fresh waters. So, um, yeah, you, you can forget uh, pandas here, I... I tried to just not approach again with Pandas, but it just gave me, I ran out of, um, of RAM, so yeah, let's just forget about that, let's orient on how to work with Artemis, uh, yeah, you see here my failed trials, or, I mean it worked, but I got the value error, but whatever. And let's uh, let's go again with mean temperature here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, love that. Okay, that looks actually better. So <laughs> just the axes are a bit confused. Oh, that's my fault. So what is uh, what I don't understand here? Please correct me. Ah, it even explains. Sweet. So all the IDE functionality I love. Uh, for the, for the slow people, so it explains everything. So um, uh, the the double stars they are like for unpacking, right? They unpacking a list, uh, unpacking a uh, dictionary, I guess. Um, uh, the the double plat. But I I don't really get why 
why you, you would use it in a scatter plot. Um, but okay, maybe that's just my my brain who just can't keep up with that. But okay, here we have the months and we have the mean temperature. Okay, the mean temperature, well, 100. That looks a bit weird, but maybe we are here in Fahrenheit or something. Mm, okay, so I'm missing the units here. Um, and I don't even know the conversion rate between Fahrenheit and Celsius, but okay, stick with me. We, we're gonna get through that. Alive. Okay, so what kind of functionalities that we've discovered? Let's wrap up. We have the UI for the filters, which are extremely fast and very smooth. We have the magic symbol for SQL, for BigQuery SQL, perfect. Uh, we have the code behind the graph, so we can like understand and learn how to use Artemis uh, or Google Colab library, I guess. So even better. And um, yeah, now, now it would be like general uh, library um, handling. That would be maybe an interesting point. So can we, is uh, Ski Kit Learn uh, already installed? SK Learn, sorry. I always say Ski, why? Um, and other machine learning libraries that our data scientists are so fancy about. Uh, so that would be a question. Uh, maybe I'll answer that another day. Uh, let's just check the options here. Okay, with the query table, brand used. Interesting. Uh, we have few resources. Focus the last one, so manage session. Few resources show execute the code history. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, nice. Ah, that's that's pretty smooth. Okay. Oh, and smooth top behavior here. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, that was just a quick intro and like a bit of context to my LinkedIn post. Posts, plural. Uh, I hope it helps. Let me know. If I forget something, let me know if you want to have more of the, this content. And see you in the next video.